Bonjour la pomme, je n'étais pas pour te pousser longtemps. Hi hi hi, bonjour Papa Francisella, tu m'as tellement de manqué. Oh, I miss you Papa Francisella, I miss you so much. All right, welcome to our scene on Francisella Tularensis, represented by this French guy here, this guy from France, named Francisella. And why is he talking to a bunny? This helps us remember that rabbits are a common reservoir for Francisella tularensis. Now let's look at the characteristics of the bacteria and then we'll discuss diseases it's associated with. So we look at Francisella over here, this old guy. Well, if you forget about his hair and if you forget about his body, you'll see that he is not really spherical or a rod, but he's sort of in between. He's a coxobacillus, because Francisella is a coxobacillus. And if you note that he's got this like reddish color to him, because it's a gram-negative bacteria. Now, we find this tick over here. This is the dermacenter tick. It's actually also known as the wood tick, and that's why you find this wood barn thing over here. This tick over here is trying to break up the relationship between Francisella and the bunny. He's a little bit jealous. For our purposes, to help us remember that the dermacenter or wood tick is the vector for Francisella tularensis. When it bites, it causes painful skin ulcers and necrosis. On the floor, we find these teen sisters that come up in a few videos. These teen sisters, to help us remember, cysteine, because cysteine is required for growth for Francisella tularensis. Now, why are Francisella and the bunny inside of this little barn thing here? This helps us remember that Francisella tularensis is a, is a facultative intracellular organism. You know, of course they can get out because it's not obligate intracellular, it's facultative intracellular, but it's intracellular, particularly inside macrophages. They can reside and replicate inside macrophages. And we note this guy over here. This guy's gonna help us remember the disease associated with, with Francisella tularensis. Tularemia, which commonly presents with fever, that's why this guy has a fever, and he's a lymph node to help us remember, well he's a large lymph node, to help us remember lymph endinopathy. Okay, just a final word that the treatment for Francisella tularensis includes aminoglycosides. Alright, and that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this video on Francisella tularensis.